Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. No webcam recording this time. It's weird. I know it's weird for me too, but I wanted to give you guys the full brunt of the screen for this tutorial video. Today, we're going over how to set up Octagon, which is a downloadable software you guys can use to play Dragon Ball Super online. Now, at this point where we're at in the current uh, climate of the world, we are all pretty much on quarantine. Most of us, probably all of us at this point, don't have the luxury of going to our local game store. We're not able to play Dragon Ball Super with anyone IRL. We don't live with people that play Dragon Ball Super or they're not within a reasonable distance to get to us and play. So with that in mind, you're gonna wanna be able to play Dragon Ball Super online. Now, like this video and let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a tutorial for Untap as well. Just kind of gauging interest to see if this is something that people really do want to do. So just want to get interest on this video and know if that's something I'll be uploading for tomorrow. But in any case, today we're going over how to set up Octagon. I'm a really big fan of Octagon. Untap has been a little bit laggy lately and Untap is a browser based game you can use where you don't have to download anything, but it's been very laggy lately. They've had a little bit of a overcrowding amount of people use Untap lately and it's been leading to a bit of lag and a bit of crashes for the site. But actually when I logged into Untap today, there was an update that went through now, I haven't played any games on Untap with the updates, but I am hoping and assuming that those updates are to help fix the lag and, uh, and crashing issue. But again, I haven't played with it. I guess time will tell. Again, let me know if you want to see that video tomorrow for how to set up Untap. With that being said, we're going to get into this Octagon tutorial. So all the links you guys are ever going to need for this video, I'm going to leave them in the description down below. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. Check that out. But anyways, we're going to go over to Octagon.net. You guys can see the URL there, the URL bar. You're going to go to that website. You're going to go to create an account. Now you're going to register an account. You're going to fill out all this information. You're going to go to your email address because they're probably going to send you a confirmation email. You're going to need this Octagon account to sign in once you do successfully download Octagon. So just keeping that all in mind, that's where you're going to want to start. You're going to go back to the Octagon homepage. You're going to go to download. Now it does seem this is like only a Microsoft Windows downloadable software which is a bit unfortunate. I mean, luckily I operate on Windows and if you operate on Windows, you can use this as well. If you do operate on Mac, you might want to resort to Untap. That might be the best option for you. But anyways, we're gonna continue with the video. So you're gonna download for Microsoft Windows. That's gonna download there in the bottom on your bottom download bar. You're gonna let it do its thing. Once it's all finished up, you're going to hit that upper arrow there. You're gonna open it. I'm not gonna open it because I already have the software downloaded onto my computer. But just so you guys know, you're gonna open it. You're gonna let it run its course. It's gonna probably take a few times to download through. And then it's gonna ask you if you want a shortcut. You can open up a shortcut for Octagon on your desktop. But in any case, I'm gonna to go to my little search bar here with my Microsoft Windows, type in OCTGN, which is the shorthand for Octagon. And then you can open up Octagon just like that. Now you'll get this loading screen here. And if it's ever updating, if Octon's ever updating, it'll tell you in this little bar here, see it's checking for an update right now. So let, give it a second, let it do its thing. Then it's gonna bring up the Octagon, basically the, the homepage here. So again, what I mentioned before is you're gonna wanna set up that account. It's gonna ask you for your email or username and then your password. So from there, you're gonna sign into your account and it should remember it after a few times of signing in. So we're on the Octagon homepage. We, we have successfully downloaded the program. We still have a few more steps before we can play Dragon Ball Super. So the first thing you want to do is once you're on this Octagon page here, you're going to want to go over to the games manager. Now the games manager, there are a ton of games here. You can play on Octagon. It's actually a pretty cool uh, software for that. I mean, tons of games, Final Fantasy TCG, Duel Masters. But what we're interested in here is Dragon Ball Super. So this is all set up in alphabetical order. So scroll down until you get to Dragon Ball S patch beta. Uh, I don't know why that's the name for it. It should just be Dragon Ball Super Card Game. But anyways, it's Dragon Ball S Patch Beta. You're going to click on that. And now I have the uninstall button because I already have it installed. So in your case, you're going to press the install button there. Let it do its thing. Let it install. But we're not quite done yet. So now we have the game on our Octagon. It's part of the games we can play on Octagon. Now, if I go to this play spectate button, this is where all the different Dragon Ball Super games will pop up. So right now there's, I guess, one person or one group of people playing Dragon Ball Super. And because I have that game downloaded in my games manager, those are the games that I can see. Now, you can also show your um, your uninstalled games, but you really don't, there's really no reason to do that. So you go back to the games manager and you're gonna wanna add the image packs. Now the image packs, it's a file 
that basically gives you all the images for all the cards in the game now uh, i'm also going to drop the link for that in the description as well i'm probably going to title it dragon ball super card game image packs click on that link that i provide for you there it's going to bring you to this page right here this simple looking white page so there's a few things here you can see parent directory dragon ball super transformers dragon ball z we're just interested in dragon ball super and you can see here as well last modified uh march 22nd 2020 which is actually very recent at the time of recording this video now you might be watching this a few months from now you might be watching this a year from now make sure to keep track of when it was last modified because these usually coincide with the new set release so this last modified here was probably updated when Draftbox 5 came out very recently so keeping that in mind you're going to want to make sure you check when it was last modified but we're going to go over to the dragon ball super hyperlink there then we're going to get brought to a new page so we have a few things here parent directory card information dragon ball super full 322 fixed this is the file you're going to want to click on for those new image packs so you're going to click on that it's again going to download down there at the bottom download bar you got to let it do its thing let it download and uh we'll give it a second there to do its thing once it's done downloading i mean i, I don't need to wait because i already have it downloaded once it's done downloading you're going to want to show in folder now once you show it in the folder i usually would just drag it to my desktop i find that to be the easiest way you can also set up a folder if you wanted to for all your different octagon files but personally i would just drag it to the desktop now once you do that you're gonna go back to octagon now you have the image packs downloaded now we have to just add it to octagon so you're gonna go add image packs it's gonna browse your computer for the file you're going to get that set up you're gonna just import it there to octagon click on the correct uh file and then all the image packs will be downloaded to the game now we go over to our game we want to play dragon ball super first we have to do a uh with it create a deck right so what you're gonna do is there you're gonna cl click on the deck editor now you can uh, i would usually full screen this to make it a little bit easier now you can type in by name and just like you know type in vegeta find the vegeta card you want you can type in the exact name do the same thing but i actually find it a bit easier sorry i guess for the shameless plug but i find it a bit easier to use shenronslayer.com for importing and putting decks into octagon now if i am on shenronslayer.com firstly make sure you create an account if you have not done so make sure you create an account then you go over to your account name in the top right corner here you go to my decks and you have a whole slew of decks here right i'm just going to create a new deck for the sake of this video show you guys a little bit of how to use the shenmanzar deck builder now first thing you do when you create a deck it's going to ask you for a leader so i guess i already have broly signed in here so let's go broly add broly to the deck you can and then you know just refresh the page then you can name the deck broly octgn just for the sake of this video give it a sit give it a save then you can add whatever you want to the deck so let's just say we're adding more broly cards i don't know control mechanism paragatelli premonition dawn of the rampage this is not a deck i'm actually building just for the purpose of showing you this right so we're gonna click on that save button we're gonna scroll back to the top we're gonna hit the view button and that's gonna allow us to see the deck as we've built it thus far you can see the name up here broly octagon created by joey p and if we scroll down you get a nice view of the deck now i want to direct your attention to this top bar over here where it says view build clone screenshot octagon and untap so chevron's layer has an awesome installment where you can just like click a button and it goes directly to the game platform of your choice so i'm gonna click octagon now it's gonna download this deck as a file so what i'm gonna do is again show in folder so the deck is here in my uh my hard drive tab i am going to just drag it to my desktop so now it's there on my desktop and i'm going to go back over to octagon now i'm going to go back to the deck editor and we go to decks we go to load and if i go to my desktop i can then drag that deck i can open that deck from my desktop so now what you see here is we have broly we have the leader we chose on chevron's lair we have the battle cards we have all the different battle cards you put in there so if you know if i put a full deck of 50 that would all be in there then you can tweak it however you like you can change the ratios right here with the one two you double click it you can put two for example press enter and then you have like two copies of paragus in your deck for example then you can go to deck you can go to save you can change the name to whatever you want or you can save it in the octagon deck builder or you can go to save as then you can change the name i don't know broly octagon again let's just say we're doing that right so we save it now it's in octagon as a deck so what's the next step we finally downloaded octagon we installed the image packs 
now we want to play a game. So what you're going to do is you're going to press start. You're on the player spectate tab. You're going to press start. Simple as that. Uh, the password protection seems to be a thing you can only use if you are a paying supporter of Octagon. I personally am not, but it is a great software for the game. So I definitely recommend showing your financial support if you guys are... Uh, if you guys want to do that want to get password protection on your games this is not an advertisement i don't get anything for shouting this out but i do think it's a great program for the game so if you want to show your financial support i'm all for that but anyways if you're on the free version no password protection you have your username you can name the game whatever you want and then you're going to press start so from there it's going to load up your game we can drag this around so now at this point your username is here your opponent whoever joins the game will be right underneath you and then once you have that going you can press the start button which will get you into the game so again this is i'm only uh, i'm the only person in this game right now so it's gonna be a little bit weird but i'm still gonna show you guys how to operate most of the functions here on octagon so you're gonna press this game tab you're gonna press load deck i'm gonna upload my gohan deck from uh from nationals actually which is kind of funny so uh yeah this is pretty old so if you go down to the bottom right here you'll see i'm hovering over this little thing that says leader click on that you can drag your leader into play so that's how you're gonna get your game started you have your deck of 50 right here now uh for shuffling your deck you can always right click on everything and right click on everything will give you the ability to interact so you can right click on your leader you can uh you know do all these different things with it you can right click on your deck and you can you know shuffle draw do whatever you want to do uh you can also learn the hot keys all the hot keys for all the different actions are right there to the next of the deck i personally am just going to control s shuffle my deck a bunch and you'll see in the bottom left there in the chat all the different actions being taken are recorded in the chat so that's pretty important in terms of just keeping a uh keeping stance of what things have happened during the game you can also use your uh your roller on the mouse to zoom in or zoom out which is pretty cool so okay now if we're hovering over the deck i right click uh, we're starting a game let's just say or actually if we right click on the game we can roll a die or you can use control r roll a die it tells you in chat i rolled an 18 your opponent roll whatever now the game is going to start we shuffle our deck we can hover over we can right click we can go draw x and then input the number you want to draw in dragon ball super we draw six so you would input six and then to mulligan whatever you don't want you're just going to drag it back to your deck you drag it back to your deck it will automatically put it uh on the top of the deck and then you can then again shuffle control s or you can right click and shuffle and then you can again draw x this time we would draw three because we have three cards in our hand and then you can right click anywhere on the game board and set up life it knows you're playing dragon ball super so we'll automatically set up eight life for you now you're at the start of a game so now how about playing the game so all right we're going for turn one we want to charge an energy you're just going to double click any card in your hand it becomes an energy pretty awesome if you want to play a battle card all you have to do drag it onto the field then you can then tap the appropriate energy for it if you want to tap multiple things at a time you can hover over them they're both highlighted here in yellow as you can see then you can double click both of them and they'll both get tapped once it goes back to your turn you can right click the screen go untap all you can also use f1 to do that that's the that's the shortcut that's the shortcut key to do that with and as the game goes on you're just playing dragon ball super so every turn you'll draw one card when you attack a leader you'll do the appropriate autos so what i like to do is for example i'm playing a burst leader here so i'll actually drag two cards onto the field you know kind of towards the right side of the screen then i will drag my discard onto the screen and then i'll draw two and then i'll hover over all the cards that are going to go to my drop area right click them then you can go uh where is it you can go discard which will put them into the drop area you can hover over this little thing down here it tells you it's the drop zone then if you want to look at your drop area all i have to do is right click on it press look at all cards and you have a view of your drop area right then and there if you wanted to overwhelm your drop area you can just double click on your drop area it will all go to your warp the warp is hidden off right now over in this little right side of the screen but if you click on it your warp will pop up and then just do that so you're not overcrowded with card spaces here like here we have the leader option we can uh, collapse that back to the right side we have our life we have our drop area and we have our deck and we have our hand size i want you to also notice here this little top black bar above our hand you see my username you see my hand size and you see my life size now you can't usually see your opponent's hand or life because they'll be on this side of the screen that i'm highlighting here you typically can't physically see their life or their hand but you can keep track of it by this bar right here 
using the username, the hand size and the life size to keep track of what life totals they are at. You can also use this green button here to pass turn. If I would click that, it would end my turn pass to my opponent, but I don't have an opponent right now. So it's going to keep it as my turn. But hopefully you guys get the gist of what's going on here. You know, if I wanted to use this super combo as a combo card, assuming I met the sparking five in the drop area, I could drag it onto the field. I could tap it. So it's sideways like a combo card should be. And then I can just draw one. The game is pretty self-intuitive. Once you have it downloaded, once you've just messed around with it a little bit, I think I've explained how to charge energy, how to play battle cards. Again, I would play this monkey. I would tap, you know, ideally to energy for that monkey right there. I would play him that you can attack with him by double clicking and attacking. So the game is pretty self-intuitive. Once you have it downloaded, I think getting it downloaded and getting the image packs installed is probably the hardest part. Now, if you guys have any specific questions for a certain uh, function on untap or sorry, octagon, what you need to do, be sure to drop that down below in the comments. I'm not like a super tech guy or anything like that, but I do know how to run Octagon. So I will answer your questions to the best of my ability. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see the video for untapped tomorrow, be sure to let me know in the comments. I will see you guys all next time.